My name is Fifi. Welcome to the Fashion Box. And today I'm on set with the beautiful lady. She's a professional makeup artist. She has worked on different celebrities. And then she's going to show us some of the tips on how to do makeups. Uh, my name is Nahia, and I'm a celebrity makeup artist. Uh, they told me to talk about my look of the day. Uh, this is normally how I be at work. This is a, a very simple look, very subtle makeup. I actually have my eyebrows only filled in and I have a little bit of mascara and eyeliner. Then I have um, a little bit of powder and I have lip gloss. This is the powder that I used, um, True Color Black Opal uh, in shade 400 medium. That's my shade. And then I used uh, the Revlon mascara, it's volume, so you don't need to wear lashes. You can, you can wear this to the office, um, to work, maybe to the, even to the market, if you don't want to be too much. I also wore an eyeliner, Kajal, for, m for my bottom liner. And I'm also wearing a lip gloss, a uh, colorless lip gloss from Zaron, sheer lip gloss, um, in number one. Shade number one, flawless. And that's my look of the day. Also, you're actually not advised to, um, to sleep with makeup. So normally what I use, I have a um, pack of wet wipes. Normally I use this on my clients, Pampers. It's for sensitive skins. Also people with uh, non-sensitive skins can use them. They're very good. They are really wet. So you just, you just need your wipes to wipe off the makeup. That's if you don't want to shower or something. However, if you also want to like shower off your makeup, you can, use, you can use warm water with a little bit of soap or maybe liquid soap or something and you wash up your makeup. I eat everything apart from sugar and oils. I drink water and mind my business. Let's see the look I'm about to get. So that is uh, Bizin, eye whitener. Mm. It whitens the eyes. Yeah, whitens the eyes. Because okay. your eyes were a bit reddish. Mm. And since like we are going for like a look for TV, like this is a TV look. Okay. And mo mostly the viewers are like directly in contact with your eyes. Mm. So your eyes have to pop. So normally TV makeup doesn't have to be way over the top. Mm. Because I mean, uh, this is camera and we all have those filters. It has to be something simple. <coughs> has to be something simple just to enhance mm. someone's features. So is there any difference between the makeup for the, for the dark skin and the brown skin? Of course. If someone is darker, you go for darker shades. Someone is light, you go for lighter shades. Normally. So currently we yeah, are we're really applying good. eyeshadow. I like nude shades, especially on the eyes, okay. because I mean, this is TV makeup, this is during day, yeah. So this it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't have to be over the top. Okay. Like I said earlier, you just need to enhance her features. Wow. So is there any makeup for day and night? <laughs> yeah. This is for day. Okay. Now in the night. You go, you, you go extra, mm. okay. because it's in the night, like, and you need people to see you from a distance. Mm. So that's when you use the glitters, um, the highlighters. Look up. Sorry. So how do you always feel when you're working on someone? <laughs> It's refreshing, like it's and it's fun, mm -hmm. like to to create all these looks and to make people smile through your craft. It's amazing. So you apply foundation, and in this case, I've used uh, the black opal foundation in shade uh, black walnut. This is your shade. Foundation is key when it comes to TV makeup. Uh, so, what's the difference between the TV makeup and the wedding makeup? Like, I mean, it's a wedding, it's a party, you have to go all out. 
and you have to make sure you get the right primers, the right setting sprays for that makeup to stay like literally the whole day. And um, remember, it's a wedding. This is a bride who is probably going to be up and down. Mm. You need to get uh, the right products for her skin. And yeah, it has to be extra because you only get married once. Okay, <laughs> I suppose. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So as you can see, your eyes are already white brightening. Yeah, I can see. They're already white. <laughs> so look up. Put some bottom liner, and then after we put liner on the eyelids, mm. just to make the eyes pop a little bit. <laughs> this is now called concealer, just to clean out the parts of the of the eyeliner, mm. just to make it neat. Okay. I don't. Okay, I have I have uh, a few inspirations here and there, but I guess I'm naturally. Um, an artist, yeah, like I'm an artist by by talent. Uh, I've been an artist way back, even in school. I used to like chop my friend's eyebrows and fill him in. Yeah, so with time, I realized I can do something related to art because I was good. At, I was a good artist. Yeah. There are quite many. Oh my god, I don't know where to start. Maybe it's two hours from your doing the Um you can see from there. We have uh, Nina Rose, we have Diana Nalubega, we have Judith Hart, we have Winnie Nwaji, we have Fabiola, we have Leila Kayundo. Uh, we have Leila Kayundo again, we have Cream. Lydia Jasmine, um, Lydia Jasmine Fie, Rema. Okay, All those people to oh. mention, but a few. They even took my mind. So, sometimes. what are some of the challenges you face? First of all, uh, the makeup artist, sorry, the makeup industry is so competitive right now, and you need to up your game. Like, you need to make sure you're always on top, or you're always among the best. So it's competitive in a way that you actually don't even get time to rest or get time to yourself. Every time your head is supposed to be boiling, I'm supposed to come up with this, I'm supposed to be better in this kind of way. Also, um, another challenge is people who don't want to pay for makeup, uh, they think makeup is not a necessity. So someone walks into your studio and they ask, uh, how much do you charge for makeup? And then you're like, uh, 150,000, 120,000. And they're like, what? No, that's a lot of money. I thought 30,000. And you're like, really? Because at the end of the day, you're buying expensive products, uh, you, the, the place. You need to make sure the place is neat, clean, all those things. Like, you're literally investing a lot of money, but people are not willing to pay. Yeah. Also, at Nahia Makeup Studio, we have a nail section for trendy nails. <laughs> like we do trendy nails, celebrity nails, uh, wedding nails. She's going to tell you more about it. Yeah, actually, in trending nails, they actually different nails. And we use different products. In making green nails, we use like we have acrylic. That's that's powder. People they call powder. Yeah. We have gel. This is gel. Maybe this is gel polish. It's like this. This is acrylic. Most people they call, they call it powder. This, it has its liquid called acrylic liquid. Uh, if you don't care, can I show you? It's okay, it's okay, right? So, this. Just mix this. Then I use my blush. Then I apply. 
this is acrylic liquid you just mix it with this and then you make a nails yeah so for how long have you been doing this been doing this like for six years six years now yeah um, i see different nail polish i see this i see that you said you have gel you have i have gel i have acrylics i have had gel i have dipping powders i have every kind of nail you have ever thought how long how how long do they last on your nails on someone's nails it depends on the daily basics of someone yeah because if someone's touching touching in water or someone's overwashing or someone's like but actually overwashing yeah but my nails they actually last for acrylic ones they last for four weeks that's one month this is some of the acrylic nails yeah done by me and what yeah, just make that. How, how do you do this? <laughs> just make this. That's actually you say, how do you make it? How do you make it? How yeah. do you form it? That's the outcomes of the acrylic nails. Some, some of them. How have you gained in this? Actually, nails, most people, they don't take it as a business. Like, those days back, nails were known as to be done like for people, those who di didn't went to school, the people, those who are, I don't know, vayaye, you see? But nowadays, nails, because for me, right now, uh, I'm speaking English. I went to school, and, and now I'm doing nails. I'm surprised, because you told me you don't know English, <laughs> and you're speaking to me in English. No, that's just was a joke. But then, we go right back to the question, Nails. <sighs> I don't know even to ask that. Okay. But yeah, I have done something. Actually, I'm doing small things like renting, paying school fees for my young sisters, my young brothers, and even to construct for for elders. Nails have they have ever okay. This business has helped you do all that, like all those stuff. Yeah, yeah. It, it had helped me to do that, and I'll do bigger, bigger than. So, what do you tell people outside there that want to, to join this? What are the, some of the encouraging words you'd love to share with them? Wanga service is really tricky, and this is a service whereby or dealing an abam to be in your revenge. Tanzo Kujanga, Yagara Chidala, Mamunyola, Tenagana, Chumkolako. You get? Yeah. Nanga, my no Kwanga Bachagara Chich Soka, Chokui, by no so called Soma or Somako. They want to be like Nahia. What, what are some of the things you would like to uh, First of all, they have to pray. Before anything, you're supposed to know God. Because I mean, we are what we are because of God. Uh, then you need to discover your talent. Once you discover it, work upon it. After you work upon it, um, be consistent like make sure instead of going down you're going ahead like today you've created this look tomorrow create a better look like be consistent on those things of no kings get more level one shop number f14 stroke 15 uh, Facebook, Nahia Makeup Studio. Instagram, Nahia Glam. Email, nahia.shero at yahoo.com. Um, phone number, 
That was Nahia for you. You're watching Fashion Box with Fifi. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Galax TV.